All right, today's lesson is over round off and overflow errors. An overflow error is an attempt to represent a number that is too large. A round off error is an attempt to represent a number that is too precise. So our first prompt sets us up like this. It says, imagine you work at a local store. In the register, all you have are nine $10 bills, nine $1 bills, and nine dimes. What's the largest amount of change that you can give someone? So the basically all the money in our, in our and our entire uh, our register would be ninety nine dollars and ninety cents. Okay. So it's, what's the smallest amount you can give someone? Well, the smallest amount would be one dime. Okay, so ten cents. What would you do if someone needed seven cents and change? Well, that's where the round off error comes from. Okay, so. We wouldn't be able to give seven cents change. We don't have any pennies. So we'd only be able to give them a dime, which isn't exactly their change. All right, so basically here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put this up. Um, it's a Flippy Doo Pro. It's, it's, unlike, it's just like your Flippy Doo before, except the only difference is now we're going to have a period for a decimal point. Do not get this confused with the decimal system. But this is the decimal point where the yellow line is. Okay, and all we're doing is taking our uh, our numbers, our powers of uh, uh, powers from two. So two to the two two to the zeroth power is one. Two to the first is 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 two, and so on. It goes right to left. Now we're putting a a, a period, and we're just adding two to the negative first for fifty or point five. Uh, two to the negative second would be point two five. Okay. So we're trying to give uh, some fractions or, or a decimal decimal point. And you'd put the same zeros and ones just like we did on the last one. And remember, eight bytes or eight bits make up one byte. So we're the, our Flippy Do Pro or our Flippy Do, whatever one, it's it's all it's only just one byte because it's eight bits. Okay. Um once you guys make that, we're gonna navigate to um, to the odometer on our code.org. Let me get out of this and go to code.org. So if I'm in code.org, I go to overflow and rounding. I click on widget, the binary odometer. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to start it right here. Just hit the button that starts it. And we're watching it run. And these are all the different systems. And like I said, there's there's plenty more systems than this, but these are the main systems. We'll be using the binary, decimal, hexadecimal. Um, so you can see down here the value the value is going up, and our, we could keep going on the max value. Here's what we're going to do. So basically, we're going to uh, pretend that this is an odometer on your car. I guess some of you guys may know what an odometer is, but it tracks the amount, amount of miles that you've driven. So have you ever wondered... What would happen when this odometer got full of ones? The largest number, if this were all ones, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If this were all ones right here, the largest number I think it can have is a one thousand twenty. 23 I believe 1023 because all ones the binary uh, equivalent number is 1023 um, here's what I want you guys to do I want you to put in the value 1020 and I want you to slow it down just a little bit and we're gonna hit start and we're gonna see what happens when the, all the ones fill up and we'll see what happens next right after that so basically it's the highest number it can reach because this odometer can only go uh, all ones right here for 10 of them, which is equivalent of decimal 0 through 1,023. That's 1,024 places. So I want you to do this right here, and let's watch what happens. Okay. Okay, you guys realized what happened right here? <clears throat> it's an overflow error. And remember, an overflow error is it's an attempt to represent a number that's too large. So this odometer, just like the odometer in your car, 
Once it gets to the largest number it can possibly hold, the all nines probably, then the next one, it'll just roll back over to the beginning and it won't show you your actual mileage. Okay, that's an overflow error. Let's go back to the bell work. We actually, and I want you to open up this worksheet, um, and we'll answer these answer these questions together. So it says set the binary odometer to the highest number possible and let it run. What happened to the odometer reading? Well, what happened? It was an overflow error. And so it says um, uh, the number was too big for the odometer. Okay. Now remember, try to put your answers in red ink if you can. Uh, does the odometer still show the distance driven by the car? Does it show the distance? Well, it shows a distance, but that's not the correct distance. So we're going to say no. The, the distance is incorrect. Okay. All right. Make the smallest binary number possible with your Flippy Do Pro. So let's go back and look at the Flippy Do Pro. Let's see. So the smallest number with our Flippy Do Pro is, remember, and I think it's talking about making our smallest number in binary. Make the smallest binary number possible with your Flippy Do Pro. So we're going to go back. The smallest possible number with our Flippy Do Pro is all zeros, and there's a point, and it'll be zero, 01, which would be the equivalent of, all we gotta do is look above, and this turns it on, basically zero point zero, or basically zero point 0.25, okay? Or zero, zero, two, five. So, here we go, so our number is, 0 0.025 no it's 0 0.025 okay what is the decimal value for that number oh well we I put the wrong one so our number was 0 0.01 our decimal value would be 0 0.25 okay remember you guys put your answers in red um, what is the binary number produced? Increase the number made in the previous question to the next possible value. So let's go back and look. If I wanted to increase this by one to the next possible value, <clears throat> this is just showing kind of the answer for the last one. If I wanted to increase it by the next possible value, what is the next possible value in binary? So we know that, remember just like our old, just like our old key here, you just basically make this a zero and make this one a one so our next possible value would be zero all these zeros zero point one zero okay all right so our answer is zero point one zero what's the decimal value of that number well two to the negative first power is point five zero so Basically, it's 0 0.5. 0 0.5. Okay. Make the binary equivalence of the following change amounts. So that's the next part of our, our um, PowerPoint here. It says, make the binary equivalence of 0 0.25. Can we do that? So we look at our pro. Our, uh, let's look at it back again. 0.25. Well, we've done this already. 0.25 is 0 0.25. What's the binary equivalent? Oh, we need to make the binary equivalent. So this one is 0 0.01. 50 would be, we just did this one, 0 0.10. What's the binary equivalent of 0.75? Well, to make 0.75, we 
we've got 50 and 25 cents basically and let's just turn them both on so let's go 0 0.11 0 0.11 okay what other change make more change with binary numbers what other change can you make with binary numbers um, what other change the only other change I could think of is if we did two uh, if we if we kept this uh, chart going we could go two to the negative third which would be uh, point zero point or point one two five however we only get to use our flippy do pro which is our byte which is made up of eight bits so let's just see what change we can make here can you make other change with the binary numbers the simple answer for that is no the only answer you only change you can make with this is what's on here so if we can make 50 we can make 25 and we can make 75 so can you make 30 39 cents in binary why not so basically it wants you to understand that when you use these there's there are limitations no because the limitations to making change is by 25, 0 0.25, 0 0.50, and 0 0.75. Okay, what is the la uh, let's go? What is the largest number in decimal you can make with your Flippy Do Pro? So you guys turn on all the ones on this Flippy Do Pro, and then add them up and tell me what you get. If you do that, you should be able to get, well, I told you the wrong answer right here. This one is 0 0.01 for this one. So let's go back and do this. I did it for that. Yeah, we did it right. We did it right. Um, let's go. What's the largest number? And this is the largest number. If we turn it all on and we add all the decimals, 32 plus 16, all these together, 6375. So 6375. All right, the next, the last part, the, all, the last part right here says, use a Flippy Do Pro to determine how much pie is left at the end of dessert. For each pie, make a decision on how you want to round the number to fit the Flippy Do Pro. Write this down. So this one right here goes like this. Uh, you guys can look at this and you're going to have to choose. Do you think this is like zero right here, closer to zero, or do you think it's closer to 0 0.25? Whatever you choose, you, you write it down. Okay, so I'm going to say for this one, I'm going to write one down. All right, if you guys want to round up here or round back to 25, if you round this one to 25, your last one probably needs to be zero. It's your choice how you want to round it. How would you round this one? And how would you round this one? Okay, once you wrote all those down, how much pi is left? Add all the decimal numbers up together and come up with a partner or compare with a partner and discuss. This is what I wrote down. So I said that this orange one was about 25, uh, is about a quarter. The red one's about 50. This chocolate one was about 50. And this one, I gave it nothing. So if I added all those together, I'd say 1.25 pies left over. You guys may or may not have the same answer, and that's 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 okay because if you rounded up some and I rounded down some, that's the problem. So here's here's what we here's what we basically come to this conclusion. Your answer may be a little different depending on how you rounded up or down. If you didn't have the same, uh, if you didn't have to round it all, you would see that exactly the whole pie is left over. Why is this a problem for computers? If you answer, if our answers are different than each other. Well, that's why we have to round the exact same way for our answers to be the, the exact same. That's why you can't be exactly precise in this. If you guys have ever seen a, a computer or a calculator, if you're trying to do some math and comes with a, a long decimal point that goes uh, 56.78549641123, it's trying to be exactly as precise as possible, and that is called... That is called a, a round off error. There, it's, it's an attempt to represent a number that's way too precise. So um, 
basically, here's your last two questions. Okay, and you guys can write your answers down for the pie there. What is, uh, basically, what is an overflow error? 